Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to learn about route guards. We will learn about what are route guards, how do we use them, why are they extremely important in any Angular application and how can you master it. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge on the modern technology stack for all of you. I'm also here to learn from you all. So during the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts during on the code examples or explanations, feel free to ask me in the comments section below. I will be happy to help you. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials to you. So please support me by liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. Let's get started. So a lot of you have been asking me if I can get create a full playlist where you can get all the Angular 9 tutorials. So I've created one. Please check it out. Uh, it has all the tutorials from basic to advanced. And I'm sure after going through all of it, you will be able to master Angular 9. Please do check it out. The link is in the description box below. All right. So for the past few episodes, we have focused on Angular routing. We learned about the important concepts, features that Angular routing provides. Today is the last of this episode on this particular uh, topic, but never the mind, we will continue bringing more use cases. But for now, route cards is the last in this particular uh, series topic. So if you have not checked out the previous episodes, please do so you to learn and master Angular routing. All right, let's talk about route cards. What are route cards? So route cards allows us to prevent users from navigating from to any parts of the application without proper authorization, which means that you need to secure the route paths. You don't want users to access all routes randomly. Okay, it's based on the user personas in your application. So in most cases, the routes and screens are protected behind a good authentication system, right? So let me show you by writing some use cases, some notes for you. So that way it will be very clear for you as to what is route cards, how do we use them? Let's make some notes first and then we will see the details. All right, let me open it here. Let's start writing some good notes to understand the concept. So first, so route guards, allows us to restrict users to not access certain routes or path, right? So let me give you an example. Now, if the user is not logged in, right? The user should not see slash orders route, right? This is a use case. Now the alternative is if the user is logged in, if the user is logged in, is logged in, the user should see orders, right? This is a simple if else. If the user is logged in, he should see the orders route. If he is not logged in, he should not see the orders. That's the simple use case, right? Now this means that here slash orders is protected route. Right, so we can say slash orders is a secured and protected route. Okay, similarly, you will also see some other things like slash home, right, slash profile, you know, whatever your application says, like say to do's, um, tasks, shopping cart, right. So these are all the path or routes that you need to secure. Uh, once the user is logged in, then only you should show him all these routes. So it's basically if condition, if the user is not logged in, show him the login screen. If the user is logged in, he accesses, use them, right? So these are called protected routes, right? So these are called protected routes and secured routes. So now second point is whenever we, whenever we implement a route guard, right? Whenever we implement a route card, it's it will give you it will give you boolean value. Boolean value. Right? 
either true or false like you see here if the user is logged in it will give you true or false if the user has access to a certain page it will give you true or false so basically it will resolve to a boolean value always and the value is true or false based on this true or false we will decide whether to show the route or not right so that's the concept based on this boolean value based on this boolean value angular will decide angular router will decide if user should be accessing the route or not accessing we'll see that those details okay so this is the concept of route guards now let's implement it let's implement a route guard so how do we do that so to implement a route guard we will use ng generate method which is ng generate guard so using this command we will generate the route guard all right so once we do this it will generate a route guard and it will have a interfaces so remember we'll talk about interfaces first let's understand how do you create a guard so we do it by giving for um, we giving the name of the guard here right so let's type here so how do we implement a route guard first we will say ng generate guard that's the uh, command that will run ng generate guard followed by the guard score name so this is the command to generate uh, a route guard generate a route card so once you have generated right while generating it while generating it will ask us four interfaces that we want to implement we need to choose one right for example let's run this command we'll we'll see that in just a bit we'll run this command don't worry so so the first thing is understand how to generate a route card so once a route card is generated it will ask us these are the various types of interfaces that are available in route cards when we choose can activate right so it will check if the user can visit a particular route that means can the user access that particular route can activate child will check if the user can visit the routes children or child routes can de deactivate means check if the user can exit a particular route resolve performs route route data retrieval before route activation and then can load will check if the user can load the module through lazy loading which is what we have seen in the previous episode so let's see this in practical let's do some hands on examples to learn all of this in detail right so let's start with first so our use case what are we building right so example so what are we building we will generate an admin home component right so let's say i'm building a screen for admins only this is for admin only and then we will generate a admin route guard which will check if the user is an admin if if the user is admin show the component else take him to main screen or main route which is home page right so this is the example we are going to implement now so for that let's generate a component first which is admin home so i'm generating a admin home component it has generated a component for us simple right now i told you the command to generate uh, the route card is ng generate guard followed by guard name so we'll write ng generate guard this will be followed by the name of the that so i'll call it here admin guard you can give any name to it don't worry on that so now it will ask us options to which interface we want to implement so you can see we discussed about um, can activate can activate child de can deactivate and can load so can activate will activate that component can activate child 
will enable all the child routes. Can deactivate will resolve and tell whether he can exit the route or not. Can load, it will decide whether he can load the module, lazy mo loading feature module or not. So let's generate the simple can activate first and enter. So now we see a route card has been generated, which is here. Beautiful. So we have our route card. So let's go to our routing here. Okay. Now let's add that condition here first. And we are saying whenever the path is admin, it should show the component admin home component with a condition that it can activate only based on a route and that guard's name is admin guard right so we imported the admin guard that we just generated and we are saying that whenever this will resolve to true user can access admin and whenever it is false user will not be able to access that route okay comma here save it now let's go to our guard so I'm going to delete this is all and instead I'm just going to say that it's boolean value it's going to return okay so it's just going to return a boolean value which is true or false in this case right now I'm going to make it so we write our authentication and authorization code here so you will probably be calling a service calling a user service authenticate pass username password and make sure the user is correct so once you have done all that logical pieces of your application you will then say either return or true or false now in this case i'm going to make it false that the user is not authenticated let's say there is a username password and we are saying that the user is not successfully logged in so I'm returning false okay so now in this guard I'm returning it false so if you go to your route module routing module here I'm saying can activate admin guard it is false now so the user should not be able to access the admin let's see that in action all right so let's first start the application If you are enjoying the tutorial so far, so please give a thumbs up to the video if you're liking it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so let's give it a minute. It's just building. All right, we are almost there. Okay, done. So now what we are going to see, we are going to refresh our page and we should see our page. It's going to products. Now I'm going to make it admin. So it, if you see here, it is redirecting us to the main page. However, I am writing admin, but it is still going to the main page. I want you to see this and notice this again. Enter, it navigates to the main route, right? Because our can activate is resolving to false. How do I know? Let's make it true. So once you make it true, now what do we expect? We expect that when the user navigates to admin page, he should see the admin component. Okay, so let's go here and admin. So now we see admin home works because the can activate has resolved into true, right? So this is an example of route card, how you use it. So in most of the cases, you will end up using these. In some cases, you don't want to give some permission after a certain action. So there we will use can deactivate, right? So we will see all of this later, maybe in a few other tutorials. This, the idea of this tutorial is to show you what route guard is, how do we generate it? How do we use it? So I hope you got an idea and you are able to implement that. So as a homework, try creating child routes and then give can activate child and then we will see. All right, so we'll probably cover that in another tutorial later. For today, this is just the intro of routing route cards and I'm sure you um, have cleared the concept and how to use it.
starting next episode i am starting angular forms very very important piece of any web application i have planned around 15 20 tutorials to cover and learn all about angular forms i hope you will join me there where i will cover about um, installing bootstrap material design we will learn how to generate forms we will learn about template driven forms we will learn about reactive or dynamic forms all about uh, the forms in um, the next uh, episode onwards so make sure you like the video you subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in the next episode where i will start with installing bootstrap in angular application thank you so much see you in the next episode